Hello friends, welcome to Linux Help Tutorial. Today we are going to see how to installing LAMP on Fedora 22. LAMP is a shoot of tool needed to build your web server with support for relational database such as MariaDB with the new package manager DNF in Fedora 22. LAMP abbreviation to L for Linux, A for Apache, M for MariaDB, P for PHP. We will see further steps for installing LAMP. First you have already installed Fedora 22, then you will need to full system update using DNF update. System update need to root privileges. So I'm logged in as a root user and type DNF and update. Hit enter. Now we can see it will asking 32 MB. You want to continue? Yes. And hit enter. It will downloading the packages. Now we can see system update is completed. Step 1 Set up Apache Web Server. Apache Web Server is flexible in terms of customization and its security can be greatly improved with modules such as mod security. First, we will see how to install Apache Web Server on your Fedora 22 server. So, if you can simply install Apache Web Server using DNF, DNF install and then the HTTPD. PD. This is the package for installing Apache Web Server and you can hit enter. It will asking, do you want to continue? Type Y and hit enter. You can see the download and installing Apache Web Server is ongoing process. Now you can see receive the message for installed HTTPD is completed successfully. Once you have installed HTTPD after that, you can power on the Apache Web Server using service start httpd. So you can use this command systemctl and then the start start the service httpd. And hit enter. It will start at the HTTPD service. After that, you will check the status for HTTPD. You can type systemctl status HTTPD. You can see active is active running so it will power on the HTTPD service. Next, to verify that Apache is working properly and open your web server's IP address in a web browser. First, you will find out your IP address using ifconfig. Ifconfig and hit enter. You can see your IP address on your system inet 7.234. So, and then next open your web browser. Once you know your IP address, and then open your browser and open new tab and type your server IP address.
and it will show you the Apache web server's default page. You can see here. If in case you are not able to reach this default page, you could in that firewall is blocking connection on port number 18. You can allow connection on the default Apache port 80 and 443 using this command. You can see this is the command to adding HTTP service to block any other issue. You can see this is the firewall CMD permanent add service HTTP and another command is HTTPS. These two commands you will must add if you are not received the default HTTP page you can run these two commands and then next Apache will start upon system boot run the following command you can use systemctl and then enable HTTPD service and it enter it will enabling and next you will check the Apache uh, directory root you can go to the default directory root for Apache slash where you can view that file check that file default go to cd where and ww and then html you can see this file will be default file for the html so it will running successfully you can see present direct working directory slash ww next step 2 we will move to step 2 mariadb install mariadb MariaDB is an open source fork of the famous MySQL relational database. MariaDB has been forked by the MySQL creators due to concerns of Oracle acquisition. To complete the install MariaDB, you can use following command dnf install and MariaDB server and it enter If you want to continue, you can give your yes install. Now you can see MariaDB is installed completed successfully. Next, you will you can start a enable MariaDB to using systemctl. and start MariaDB and hit enter it will be started the MariaDB next you want to check the status of MariaDB you can type status you can see MariaDB is active active and running next next auto start MariaDB when your system is rebooted you can type systemctl enable SOS system ctl and then the enable service and then service name 
MariaDB service and hit enter it will be enabled by default the root user will not have a root password set so you need to run mysql secure installation command to set a new root password and secure mysql installation as shown you below mysql and then underscore secure installation this will if you have not root password you can press here enter it will set a new root password asking you want to give here why and it will asking the root password new root password so I'm giving here my new root password and it enter it will asking the re-enter new root password and I'm giving the root password and it will be set successfully you can see here and next it will asking remove anonymous user for security reason so you can give here why and it enter it will remove anonymous user successfully and next this disable remote root login for safety and you can give here yes and it will next you can see here the disable root login is success and next remove the test database and access to it and you can here yes and it will enter and you can see here the removing privileges is success and next if you want to reload the privileges and you can type here yes and thank you for using MariaDB message you can all are done and that's all about the MariaDB installation and next we will see step 3 install PHP with modules PHP is a powerful programming language it can be used for generating dynamic content on websites it is one of the most frequently used programming language for web now we will see installing PHP and with modules in Fedora 22 this is the command to installing PHP and with their with their modules and dependencies and hit enter and it will asking do you want to continue yes I want to continue it will ongoing process to download and install the packages for PHP and its modules Now you can see the PHP and its modules is successfully installed completed. Once the install is completed you can test PHP by creating a simple file the under Apache root directory that is where slash www slash html and then restart the Apache service and verify the PHP by navigation by user browsing the address of HTTP and the server IP and the file name so I'm going to HTML root directory and here I'm creating a new file name of Linux help using VI Linux help dot PHP 
copy and hit enter and you can type your content and save your file and once restart the apache service using systemctl and restart and the http service and hit enter and service is restarted next check the status and it will active and then open your browser and open new tab for it and check HTTP and then double slash your server IP address slash and then the file name and hit enter it will show you the content of the file welcome to linux help tutorial thank you for using linux help and that's all about the lamp server thank you for watching this video